Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about what you need to know for the FE exam 2019. Now there have been some changes on the FE exam and you guys need to be aware of those changes while you're studying for your test. For more videos covering the FE exam or if you're just taking engineering classes, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Also, make sure you stay until the end because I'm going to be announcing the launch of the new FE exam prep course and I'm also going to share with you guys some practice problems that you can use to study for your test. Oh yeah, everybody now. Let's dive in. So first of all, the FE exam used to consist a lot of practical problems where you have to find the equations on the reference manual and then you just plug in the numbers. And it had a little bit of conceptual problems but that actually has changed recently. Now, I am always helping students with their RFE exam, and recently, a lot of them has reported that they got about 30% of conceptual questions on their RFE exam, which is a lot more than what I got on my test. I got about 10 questions. Now, let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of having conceptual questions in your RFE exam. So the advantage of having more conceptual questions in your exam is time. It is much faster to solve a conceptual question than to solve for a practical worked problem. This advantage is if you don't know what the problem is about, it's really hard to get the right answer. So you just have to do an educated guess and just move on. And this is where this can affect your FE exam result. Now, how do we fix that? Well, the first step is be aware of these changes. Implement them while you're studying and be prepared to change your study habits. Now, I'm going to share with you guys how you should study for these type of problems and also tips that you can use during the exam. For the practical works problems, I already have a couple videos where I talk about how to study for those problems and also how to tackle them. I will leave the link in the description below in case you guys want to check them out. Now, let's focus on the conceptual part. When you are studying for a specific topic, do not skip the concept part. I know they can be boring sometimes, but it's really important to understand the concepts, especially for the FE exam. Now, sometimes when we are solving practical problems, they can help us understand the concepts. So just be aware of that. So when you are solving a problem, don't just use the equation and just plug in. Try to understand the steps and the equations that were used because that can really help you understand the concepts. Also, make sure you guys add the concepts to your cheat sheet. Now, I already talked about the importance of having a cheat sheet. I will leave the link above there in case you guys want to check it out. So let's talk about the books. So a lot of the FE books out there are outdated and the FE exam is constantly changing. So what I would recommend is that you reference back to your college books, YouTube videos, and maybe Google some of those concepts. If you guys want to know which concept to focus on for each subject, let me know in the comments below. Now let's talk about tips that you can use during the exam. Time is really important for this exam, so don't waste time trying to guess the right answer. Instead, spend that time solving a practical problem that you know for sure. Now how do you guess? So a lot of people would recommend that you pick a letter and you just stick to it throughout the exam. So for example, you select letter A, and each time you don't know the answer, you're just going to pick answer A. So I'm not sure how much this method actually works, but I know it does work for some people and it doesn't work for others. So you're just gonna have to try it and see if it works for you. If you guys wanna see videos on test taking skills, time management, or just how to stay motivated to study for this test, let me know in the comments below. Now you guys know about the new FE exam, try not to stress too much about it, know your concepts really well, focus on your weaknesses, and don't forget to stay positive and confident. I'm sure you guys are going to do great. A lot of you has asked me about the FE exam prep course and I did spend a couple months working on it and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. As I mentioned before, this course will have concepts, examples, quizzes, and a practice exam. The course is available now and you guys can check it out in my website. I am also offering 30% off the first two weeks. If you guys want some practice problems, you can sign up in my website and I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.